welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a review on the brand Colored Grain, specifically speaking about the Queen of Hearts palette and then some of their eyeshadow singles that I've picked up recently. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing. I have had quite a few people join in the last week or so and it's gotten me really, really excited. I hope you guys have checked out some of my other videos and definitely feel free to share my channel with your friends and family. I usually try to upload every other day. Sometimes I do miss uploads just because I don't feel like filming and I love to be very authentic in my videos and not feel forced to do this. I also work full time so hopefully you guys understand. You can always also find me on Instagram. My handle is Karen Harris Makeup. So if you don't see me on here for a few days, definitely check out Instagram because I will be on there. But without further ado, let's get into my review on these Color Grain products. Now, this review, guys, has been a long time coming. I wasn't planning on doing one, but then of course, Color Grain announced that they would be bringing the Queen of Hearts palette back. Now, this does have a beautiful sleeve that comes with it on the packaging, in case you're wondering. Um, I don't even know where it is. It's probably stored away somewhere. I do weirdly save stuff like that, but this is what it looks like once the sleeve comes out. And I just love how sleek this is. And honestly, I've had this palette since last year. My husband actually got me this for Christmas. It was one of my Christmas gifts. And honestly, this is probably one of the best Christmas gifts I've ever received. Technically, I believe this came out in 2016, but I have been loving this in 2017. So if I open it up, here is what the palette looks like. There is a decent mirror, and then there is a foil gold, and it comes with 12 gorgeous shades. So that is a quick look at the palette. Now, Color Brain as a brand is cruelty free and it was founded in 2013 by a lady named Lorraine. Basically this is a black owned brand and also an indie brand so really I think their claim to fame was definitely this palette. They weren't as talked about until this palette launch and I believe people like Nikki Tutorials, Jaclyn Hill, they kind of all got their hands on it and started talking about it so this really rocketed them to fame which I think is a really wonderful Wonderful. Um, now this is currently available for pre-order. The palette is $50. You can't use any coupon codes with it, but I think honestly for $50 this is a steal. So it'll be in stock late August is what the website says. And I thought I'd make this video because it's July. So if you haven't gotten your pre-orders in, honestly, stop this video and just go order it because I promise you, you will not regret having this palette. In a sea of millions of palettes, this palette still stands out. It still makes me like tingle inside and I think all of those things are good things. Um, so like I said, this was limited edition but due to popular demand, they definitely brought it back. It also contains six matte shades and six foils and the net weight of each shadow is 0.05 ounces for a total of 0.62 ounces which I think is enough product. I've never used up a whole eyeshadow palette and I don't think you will either. Honestly, if I ever did use up one, it might be this one. So without further blabbering, I'm going to go ahead and get into swatching this palette for you guys. Okay guys, if you do see me looking down, I am referring to like notes that I wrote down because there are so many things to remember in reviews and uh, I just want to be thorough. So just want to let you guys know not to be like upset with me. Hopefully that's okay for you guys. So the first shade I'm going to swatch is going to be Crown, which is a pearlescent white with a gold undertone and this is what it looks like. I actually like to use this very lightly on my um, brow bone and these shades are so buttery. The next one is a metallic and this is Royal Highness which is a purple tone taupe and I think that description is very fitting and it's the beautiful shade right here. Next shade is Your Majesty which is a rich metallic copper with gold reflex. I mean, these shadows are so buttery pigmented, guys. Next is Princess, which is a matte blush pink. And honestly, these blush pink tones are probably my most favorite things to wear in the crease. I really like the blush neutral gray tone, like grayish 
purple that's in the Modern Renaissance palette, if you guys know what I'm talking about, but here is the shade Princess. I love how they did the royal theme. I think they really nailed it with the names, the packaging. It just looks very expensive and well put together. Next is the shade Empress, and this is a vibrant matte orange. So pigmented, just one swipe on that one. And then we have Queen Mother, which is a beautiful metallic plum with lavender hues. I just, I can't. Okay, next is Air, and I like to use this to basically set like any eyeshadow base that I put down. And I also like to use it as a matte brow bone highlight if I'm feeling that, or I'll just mix these two together and create something a little bit more subtle. Next we have Royal Prerogative, which is a terracotta. Let me see if I can... so hard to swatch without, like... So there it is. I took my watch off, so hopefully you guys can see it better. Next we have Noble Woman, which is a beautiful shade. Look at that swatch. It is a metallic burgundy with purple undertones. Let me drag that out over this way. So pretty. Next we have Ladyship. Now this one does not feel as soft as the other matte shades. But I promise you on the eyes when you're using it with a brush, you're not going to have any problems blending this into your crease or on your lid. I honestly love this shade, but it definitely does feel very different from the other shades in the palette. And then we have Duchess, which is a beautiful matte milk chocolate brown. There it is. Very pigmented. And next we have Dethrone, which is a... Sparkling Espresso with Gold Reflex. Super pigmented. Can you guys see that? There it is. So these are the swatches of the 12 shadows from the Queen of Hearts palette. Okay guys, so basically I love this palette. I definitely think you guys should get it. I wanted to get this video up for you guys so that you don't miss the pre-order. I don't know if it's gonna be permanent, this palette. I don't know what's gonna happen with it. So I would say, since you still have the chance to get it, definitely do yourself a favor and get this, especially if these colors speak to you. I think this is probably one of my favorite palettes that I own of all time. And Color Drain definitely deserves way more attention than they get currently. I definitely know not a lot of the YouTubers I follow talk about them, but I don't know that they're quite in the mainstream yet. That palette is awesome. And then if you're not sure about the palette, that's totally fine because they have a full range of single shadows. So these actually retail for $6.99. Um, I got them on sale. They usually go on sale around the holidays. So like uh, Memorial Day, they had a sale for 4th of July. They had a sale um, for their like birthday and stuff like that. So they do a lot of different sales. So you definitely don't have to get these full price if you don't want to. But I basically ended up picking out a lot of like really vibrant colors. Because um, I was trying to stay away from like the neutrals. And I was like, you know what, I have so many of the same like terracottas and siennas and golds and champions and coppers so I tried my best to get some fun shades and then I did get a bunch of neutral shades to use as lid colors just because I knew how much I loved the metallics on my lids so I think if you're looking for a high pigmented long lasting product for creating kind of your own customized palette definitely recommend color drain also all their shadows are the same price but if you were to buy one of these shadows like the foiled ones through makeup geek those are like ten dollars and i swear these are the same if not better so definitely check out the color drain singles i'm gonna swatch everything that I have. I did swatch these when I unboxed this order, but I just, you know, in case you didn't see that video, I thought it would be fun for me to swatch them again. So this is the shade Saint Germain and it's a beautiful, you know, champagne-y color. And these are so pigmented, you guys. You're about to see. That was literally one swipe, like 
are you kidding me? <laughs> and they're so soft. And honestly, once you start playing with these, like the first time I put these on my eyes, I was like, holy shit. Like, I could feel how soft they are. Next shade is Champagne. And it's beautiful. It almost has like a hint of green in it, if you ask me. Next is the shade Glamour. It's like a beautiful, like silvery gold shade. It ha almost has like a lean of blush in it. I don't know. You guys all probably think these two colors look the same. But when you see them in person, you can definitely tell the difference. This next shade is Golden Olive. So it's a beautiful golden brown. Kind of reminds me of, actually, nope, it doesn't remind me of anything in the Queen of Hearts palette, but there it is right there. It's a little closer to my skin tone, so it might be hard for you guys to see. Next shade is Downtown. It's this beautiful coppery shimmer shade. Here's a finger swatch. Here is an arm swatch that was one swipe. Next shade is Secrets. And uh, this kind of reminds me of that smoky brown shade in the Queen of Hearts palette, kind of like this one, but this looks a little bit darker. Secrets is darker and it doesn't have like gold flecks in it. Okay, next let's go to some of the funner shades. I have Malibu. I don't even wear colors like this, but honestly, who can resist a blue like this? Honestly, like what is life? Boom. Isn't that beautiful? Just pops on my skin. Next is this beautiful matte blue called Majestic. You guys see that? It's insane. It's so soft. Their mattes are so soft. There it is, Majestic. Let me blend that so you can see it better. Next I have a royal blue. A lot of these shades remind me of some of the shades in the Jaclyn Hill palette too. This is Blue Magic. Again, I just couldn't, like I don't even know where I'm gonna wear that, but I just couldn't walk away from it. Look at that pigment. There it is. Okay. Gorgeous. Next I have a lime green. This is called Bay Breeze. And these are made in the USA as well. So I think for that price point, these are amazing. Look at that. Holy shit. If you like color, girl. Okay, and then the last three are all greens. This is called Gumby. Ugh, you guys know if you followed me for a while, green is my favorite color. So even though I don't wear it a lot, I do appreciate the color. I mean, wear it on my eyes. I do wear it a lot, like clothing wise. But next, this one's super pretty. It was a little bit broken. I stuffed it back in. This is a side of olive. Beautiful metallic green shade. Let me show you. Boom. You see that? And then last but not least is Forbidden. This kind of reminds me of that green shade by Makeup Geek, actually. I should swatch them next to each other and compare them because they do look, do look very similar in the pan. And this has a little bit of a shift to it, I would say. Those are all my Color Drain single eyeshadows, and then this is the Queen of Hearts palette. So I think between the two, I definitely have a nice variety of shadows. Those are all my swatches. I would definitely recommend Color Drain to you guys 100%. Okay guys, that is it for my Color Drain review. I hope you enjoyed all those swatches. Color Drain is definitely one of those indie brands I will not sleep on. It's definitely something I got into at the beginning of this year and I plan on purchasing more of their products. I know they have lipsticks, which a lot of YouTubers rave about, as well as highlighters. I definitely think I'm planning on trying the liquid lipsticks next, but the eyeshadow palettes and the single shadows are bomb. I know they're coming out with some newer eyeshadow palettes as well, but if the shades on the Queen of Hearts palette appeals to you, 
I would not sleep on this guys I will get on that pre-order because you don't want it to sell out and then never come back again I think they've done an amazing job of you know having a limited edition product hearing what the people are saying and then restocking it's not like something they restock right away which I think a lot of companies do now where the product sells out and it's so shady because they bring the product back like right away like a couple of weeks later which makes no sense to me because we're not like consumers aren't stupid like I know a lot of people feel like they're just sitting in a warehouse and they only sell you like 500 pallets but they have a hundred thousand just sitting in a warehouse and then once the first 500 sell out they give it like two weeks and then there's a restock which I think is crazy and I think a lot of makeup companies definitely do that to create hype but I genuinely think with Colored Brain, they seem like they're a smaller brand. And I know this was supposed to be limited edition once it sold out. People were begging for it to come back and now they are bringing it back. And they are taking pre-orders so that way you are guaranteed a palette. I really think that's pretty much the best way you can really handle it, you know. Where you're not overstocking, people can get in line so they everyone kind of gets what they want. Um, but if you guys have any questions on the brand or if there was anything I forgot to cover, definitely let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye guys!